Welcome back to The Nation and welcome to our political commentator Colin James who joins us from Wellington. Good morning Colin. And kia ora Rachel. Kia ora. Do you think we're seeing here from Labour and the Greens, uh, you know, a government in waiting? Well, two things to say. First of all, this is uh, another example of what Labour means by hands-on government. Second, yes, uh, they do think of themselves increasingly as getting together something that looks a bit more like a government in waiting, but there's some distance away from that yet. But yes, they coordinated what they were doing. Uh, was it coincidental? Was it opportunistic? <laughs> uh, I think a bit of both, yes. Indeed, OK. And there are some significant differences, though, in this so-called joint plan. The Greens say it's neatly aligned. Some would suggest well, it's not aligned so much. At, it's, it's aligned at one level, and that is the single purchaser from the generators. Uh, but the Greens do have a, a, quite a significant difference in that they propose uh, that there should be a cheap block of power available to e every household, and that, that's quite different from what Labor is proposing. But I don't think these are insuperable differences. If they were in government, I think around the Cabinet table they could work that out. And the Greens do say that what they're proposing is not policy yet, it's a discussion document, and they've got several of those out. OK, and in all of this, of course, we have Winston Peters, who's not supporting Labor and the Greens and has his yes. own policy. What do you think he's up to at the moment? Oh, he's up to uh, trying to carve out a separate position for himself. Very much uh, the nationalist economic approach that he's chosen, and he, that's consistent, goes all the way back 25 years. Uh, so it's different from Labor and the Greens' approach, which is still very much about how the market should work. Where he does align with them is in saying that the generators are the problem, uh, that they're paying too high a price for the generated electricity. Uh, but is he positioning himself? Yes, he, he's, he leaves open the door, and uh, you, you pressed him, uh, I think, very well, and he said, we make up our mind after we know what the results are, and I think that's his way of playing this game. But I think you have to say he leans more on the Labour side than he does on the national side these days, and to uh, be even here despite that, the GCSB supervision. Yes, and to be here that when he said that it would be a condition that uh, if he was to try and form some support agreement or coalition with, the, the, with National, they yeah. would have to agree to buy back Mighty well, River Power, and yes, what's the likelihood of that? <laughs> Conditions are all negotiable uh, when you get into <laughs> when power is at stake. <laughs> and he did that in 1996. Uh, there were a lot of, and Max Bradford was the chief negotiator on the national side. Uh, uh, he, there were a lot of conditions uh, negotiated in. So that, that's a, when, when it gets to power, then, then things are negotiated. Where does this, this plan, this power plan that Labor's put forward, where does it position Labor? Is it positioning Labor effectively? you know, further left than where Helen Clark yep, left the it, party. Yes, it is, it is a bit further to the left. Uh, it's going back to the, the sort of uh, the mixed economy model, uh, which the mixed ownership model, by the way, is part of. Uh, and it's certainly, uh, it, it's not that, uh, uh, it's not aligned closely with what's been called the neoliberal model. And Labor is starting to actively question those orthodoxies uh, the Greens are too, from a different, from a different perspective, uh, and yes, it does reposition them. Now, the National Party says it repositions them away across to the left. This is Soviet-style communism. I'm slightly puzzled by the Nationals' tactics in this, that they've, uh, uh, they're have they building it up when you'd think they'd want to dampen it down, and building up the problem about the share price when you'd think they'd want to dampen it down. Now, however, uh, the risk for Labour is that National paints them as weird and off to one side and therefore they're not an alternative government in waiting. Whereas Labour and the Greens are trying to build themselves up as exactly that. Indeed. Colin James, our political commentator, thank you.